This tutorial will explain what is meant by the term discipline, what a periodical is, and what a journal is, and what a journal impact factor is, and how to find authoritative sources in your discipline. What is a periodical and what is a journal? Sometimes you might hear these terms used interchangeably, but they are not the same. All journals are periodicals, but not all periodicals are journals. A periodical is simply a publication that is published on a continuous and predictable schedule. Examples include newspapers, daily or weekly, magazines, and journals. Periodicals include popular magazines like Time and National Geographic, which are published for a general audience, contain lots of ads, are often full of photos and illustrations, and are written by journalists. Newspapers can be daily or weekly and are similar to popular magazines in that they are written for a general audience by journalists. However, they are usually more current and published more frequently than magazines. Examples include the Wall Street Journal and the New York Times. Journals are a specific kind of periodical. A journal is a publication that contains scholarly articles written either by professors, researchers, or experts in a subject area. An abstract usually appears with the article, and a bibliography or citation are always included with each article. Though you can see that often there are clues to the kind of periodical a given journal may be, based on the inclusion of pictures, bibliographies, advertisements, etc., it can be difficult to be certain what kind of journal a given publication is, and this is especially difficult to tell when trying to discern whether a scholarly publication is peer-reviewed or refereed. To be certain, use Ulrich's periodical directory to check a given title. Ulrich's will tell you whether a journal is scholarly and or refereed. We will search Ulrich's later in this tutorial. So what is a discipline? A discipline is a field of knowledge that is taught and researched at the college or university level. The resulting scholarship produced by those in the discipline is most often published in academic journals, which serve to disseminate research for discussion and critique. Disciplines also have associated societies, professional associations, and academic departments to which their practitioners belong. Fields of study usually have several sub-disciplines or branches. When speaking of authoritative sources for a discipline, it is important to consider what branch of the discipline you are concerned with. Though disciplines and sub-disciplines may have some authoritative sources in common, they may also differ significantly based on subfield. For example, a labor economist will value different resources than an agricultural economist. However, both as economists will probably value the American Economic Review, as it is a long-standing journal that is published by the discipline's main association, the American Economic Association. So, how do you know what resources are considered authoritative in your discipline? Most disciplines rely heavily on scholarly articles published in academic journals. Many scholarly articles are accepted through a process where a journal editor decides on the acceptability of a given article for publication. However, many, though not all, scholarly or academic journals are also peer-reviewed or refereed, which is the highest level of scholarly review. An article that is peer-reviewed or refereed goes through a review process where it is sent out to other scholars in the same field, the author's peers to get their opinion on the quality of the scholarship, its relevance to the field, and its appropriateness for the journal before being accepted for publication. So someone interested in working in agribusiness would find that the American Journal of Agricultural Economics is a good example of a peer-reviewed scholarly journal for this field. We'll discuss later how you might investigate this journal to learn whether it is peer-reviewed and who publishes it. Other kinds of periodical publications which can also be useful to researchers and those working in a particular field include trade publications and government publications. These resources are generally written for and by people in a particular field and are aimed at people working in the field rather than scholars. Articles tend to be more concerned with applying knowledge than advancing scholarship. An example of a government publication for the field of agribusiness would be Amber Waves a government periodical from the U.S. Economic Research Service concerned with food, agricultural, rural America, and the environment. An example of a trade publication for agribusiness would be Agri-Marketing, an online-only trade publication published by NAMA, the National Agricultural Marketing Association, 
and is tailored to the interest of agribusiness executives, agribusiness marketers, and agricultural related professionals. A journal's impact factor is another measure you might consider when evaluating a journal. A journal impact factor is a measure reflecting the average number of citations to recent articles published in journals. It is frequently used as a proxy for the relative importance of a journal within its field, with journals with higher impact factors deemed to be more important than those with lower ones. Impact factors are also often used by scholars when deciding where to submit manuscripts for publication. Scholars want their work to be widely shared, and publishing in the major journals helps to ensure that the articles are read and cited. By the same token, self-citing of articles and a tendency to cite and publish in a small group of major journals can artificially inflate a journal's impact factor. However, it is still a good way to gauge the importance of a particular journal within a field. Impact factors for many journals can be found in Mason's subscription resources, including journal citation reports. This resource is especially helpful when researching science and social science journals. Another general journal impact factor resource to search would be Scamago Journal Search. Both journal citation reports and Scamago are useful general journal ranking sources, but journal citation reports cover science and social sciences more heavily. Scamago is strong across all disciplines, including the humanities. Check out the next tutorial to learn more about searching journal citation reports and Scamago. These resources can be a good place to generate a list of journals in your discipline from which to begin investigating using the sources mentioned earlier, including Ulrichs. Be aware that some disciplines like business and education do value trade publications, and resources like journal citation reports and Scamago do not rank trade publications. To find best journals for business and education, you may want to search Cabell's Directory of Publishing Opportunities. For Sciences and Social Sciences, search Journal Citation Reports. And for Humanities, search Scamago Journal Rankings. Have questions or need more help? Please ask one of the George Mason Librarians for assistance.